So for this video I'm going to show how to make a simple hemp macrame bracelet. So you will need a board, some hemp cord, clips for attaching the cord to the board while you're working on it, scissors and a ruler for measuring out your cord. To get started you want to measure out your cord and for this one because it's just a simple square not flat pattern I'm going to be using two pieces of cord. So the first one wants to be a foot for every inch that you're making. For this one I'm doing about six so you want six feet. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And next I want the cord that I'm going to work over. So I'm going to measure this to the board that I'm going to fit it on. So this is going to be doubled over so I'm basically doing it over the board twice. So now what you want to do is get the ends and then find the centre. That's of one cord and then you want to do the same for the other cord. So once you have the centre of both, you're going to put both of these together like that. And then you just want to tie a simple knot to create your loop. So you'll end up with something that looks like that. So once you've tied your loop, what you want to do is clip this to your board. And then you want to take your two shortest strands and attach the ends to the other end of your board. I just prefer this because it keeps this bit nice and rigid for you. So then you want to take your other cords and put them like that. And then you're just going to start a series of square knots. So the first part of the square knot works like this. You're going over the top there, over the top there, and then pulling this bit through like that. So that's one half of your square knot. And then for the other half, you want to take this bit underneath these strands and then this bit needs to go underneath this bit and then it goes over the top and through. So that's the second half and your completed square knot. So once again you're going over, over and then through. And then next you're going under, under and then through. So I'll just do that again. So you take your cord over the top, over, and then underneath this bit and th out through here. And then next you're going to go under. You're going to bring this one under, and then it's over and through. And you're basically just going to do this all the way to the bottom until you've got as long as you want to be. And one thing that does help me to remember, especially if you're using finer cord where it's not quite as obvious which one you're doing, if you're using a different colour, you'll remember which colour is in the centre. So obviously this is variegated cord, but they are different colours that's actually working through here. So you've got an edge of orange and a centre of pink. So if you forget which knot you've actually worked or which half of the knot you've actually worked, you can just look at that and think, all right, it's pink. So pink has to go over the top. This pink bit here needs to be over the top. So that's a way of remembering which way it works. So now your pink's at the other side and you're thinking, yeah, that still needs to be at the top. So this bit has to be under and this bit has to be going over to create this bit going over the top of the strands.
So once you've got to the length that you want, you can remove your bracelet from the board and then just tie a knot at the end for a bit of extra security. And you can cut a couple of tail ends off if you want or you can just leave them there. I tend to leave them because people if they want to wear it they can always remove it themselves. So then you just want to put your bracelet on which can be a bit tricky when you're doing it yourself. And you just put one or two threads through there and then just tie them together. And once you've tied them, if you've got them really tight, you can remove these tail ends because traditionally friendship bracelets are worn until they fall off. But obviously if you want to re-wear them, you want to leave a little bit of tail at the end. But that is the completed bracelet. So I hope that was helpful to someone and thank you for watching.